Hi everyone, welcome along to our online training video today. Today we're going to be looking at commissioning a 100 heat only boiler using the front panel only. Okay, so you've got the boiler installed, so you've got all the electrics connected up, everything's safe and ready to go. You've got the boiler vented, it's now time for commissioning. On this particular install we're going to be using the front panel because, as you know, the boiler doesn't come with a Wi-Fi card installed. However, if you have installed the Wi-Fi card and you wish to commission the boiler using V-Guide, then please see our other YouTube video where you can see us commissioning the boiler using V-Guide. Please use the quick start guide that comes in the box when you get your boiler out of the box. Okay, we'll also put the manufacturer instructions on the screen so you can see the tables. The manufacturer instructions can be found on V-Books also. We're now going to go to the front panel and do the commissioning. Okay, so you've got the boiler powered up and it goes straight to C3. C3 is now our commissioning codes. It's at the very beginning. So C3 is our gas type. If you press OK on C3, you can see it's already preset to number two, which is natural gas. Should you wish to change it to LPG, we press the arrow up button and then press OK to get it to number three, and that's now set to LPG. In this installation, we're on natural gas, so I'm gonna leave it on number two. We press OK to get to the next commissioning step. As you can see now, we've gone to C5. C5 is our flue type. Again, if you press OK, it's already preset to number two, which is our normal concentric flue 6100, which is in most installations in the UK. However, you can toggle through all the different flue types and you can find the codes in the manufacturing instructions or on the quick start guide included in the box. So we press OK again, we get to number C6, and C6 is your flue length. Okay, so if you're just on a normal horizontal flue straight out the wall, we press OK and it's already preset to number one. This will cover most of the installations. However, if you've got a horizontal flue or flue extensions, then please add up all the flue extension lengths and then you can change the flue length accordingly all the way up to 10 meters. The maximum flue length on the 100 heat only is 10 meters. Uh, and once you've set your meters, don't forget to press OK to confirm. The next step is C7. This is the final step on the front panel commission, and this is your control type. So we press OK, and now you've got two options. It does come preset to 13, and 13 is our normal uh, 230 volt switching on plug 96. Okay, however, if you do wish to use weather compensation, if we press the up arrow, go to number four, and now the boiler will be pre, uh, set to weather compensation. Okay, in this installation we haven't got weather compensation attached, so I'll go back to number 13, press OK, and that's our commissioning set. As you can see, it does go to end, so we press OK, and that's our boiler now commissioned from the front panel. You can see it's gone to standby mode, to wake it back up, press the menu button, and it goes to the main screen. Okay, so I've set this boiler so the flow temperature is to off. If you wish to put it back to on, press the menu button up and hold it in for at least four seconds and it turns the boiler back onto the flow temperature. The flow temperature is on this one set to 82. If you wish to adjust the flow temperature, then please use the up or down arrows, not forgetting to press OK to confirm. That's our flow temperature set.